Hello world, it is Thursday, August 10th, 2023. I'm looking out the window at Defiance. It's kind of an overcast morning. Cool, a little humid. And I think it's supposed to be in the low 80s today with eventually in the afternoon getting a kind of a mix of sun and clouds. So not a bad August day. The devotion for today is entitled Worth a Try by Vicki Kemper. Vicki bases the devotion upon Psalm 85, verse 10, New Revised Standard Version. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. And then Vicki writes, A Pollyanna, I am not. I know the world is broken in countless places, and that much of the suffering, division, rage, and reaction we're living is reaped from evil, hurt, greed, and fear, sown decades and centuries ago. Some days things seem only to be getting worse. Worse. But I am a person of faith. I have walked repeatedly into the belly of the beast to plead prayerfully, if futilely, for fairness. I have agonized, organized, gone to jail, and prayed for my enemy, living as if the arc of history will eventually bend toward justice. And on occasion, I have witnessed the transformative power of faithful humility, apology, and hope. This time of year, I remember the Sunday when several Japanese scholars visited our church. The elder of the group spoke, rose to speak. He would say a few sentences in Japanese, and then another scholar would translate. Excruciatingly long minutes passed. And then he spoke two words in English, Pearl Harbor. The translation went something like this. It is with great sorrow and pain that we ask your forgiveness for our nation's attack on Pearl Harbor. We gasped as one, and then the tears began to flow. I extended our forgiveness, adding that we needed to ask their pardon for Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and the unfathomable suffering of the Japanese people. Could they ever forgive us? They could, and they did. Our simple offerings of apology and forgiveness did not change the world, but they created space for healing and relationship. When so much of our justice work feels fruitless, isn't faithfulness also worth a try? And then Vicki's prayer. When I am tempted to despair, give me faith enough to try vulnerability, apology, forgiveness, and love. Amen. Well, one of the things that struck me in this devotion is understanding the role we have in changing the world and changing the trajectory. Um, I don't think it's going to be about big things that we can try to do or organize or laws that we can pass, but just one person to one person at a time, um, working on relationship, rebuilding relationship with others. I think that's really the key um, to it all. I mean, could those Japanese visitors to her church really speak for all of Japan? And, and could that little congregation speak for all in the United States? Not really. But they formed relationships. And that can continue to grow and to build. And that's really what it's about. Just building Living God's love one relationship at a time and building community. It is Thursday. Um, I hope you can join us on Sunday for worship. Um, our technical person is going to be back, so hopefully we'll have a better live streaming than we've had uh, last week or the week before. We didn't have any um, because I was basically running everything and didn't know how to run it correctly, I guess. So we're working on getting some backup people and some different technology and to make it easier. But um, you can always join us in person too um, at 950 Webster Street in Defiance or on our Facebook Live uh, uh, Facebook page of St. John United Church of Christ Defiance, Ohio. So I hope you'll join us one way or another and hope to talk to you soon and have a great weekend.